Let's discuss this geometrical question which says that a rectangle HOMF has the side lengths HO equal to 11, OM equal to 5 and triangle ABC has H as the ortho center and O as the circumcenter, M is the midpoint of the side BC and F is the foot of the altitude from A on BC. So we need to find the length of the side BC. So to do this in the most efficient manner, we can uh, apply a process which is a combination of geometry and coordinate geometry. Like we have, uh, we can consider the frame of reference to be x-axis, y-axis and let us consider the circumcenter of the triangle to be at uh, origin. So circumcenter O is at origin 0, 0. Uh, then the point H that is the orthocenter will be at 11, 0 because OH equal to 11 and then OM length is 5 so the point M is going to be 0 comma minus 5 below the x-axis and uh, let us take the length BM and CM they are supposed to be equal because M is the midpoint so CM equal to BM and let us consider the length to be equal to x so in that case C will be x comma minus 5 and b will be minus 6 comma minus 5 so this is the coordinates that can set uh, now the geometry part in this question comes into picture like you can see that i have joined a and m m is the midpoint of bc so i have joined a with m naturally this is going to be the median of the triangle and the median is going to meet the line OH at the centroid because you know that for any triangle uh, the centroid circumcenter and orthocenter they are always collinear so we can guarantee that the length AM is going to intersect OH at the centroid G and uh, we know that uh, AG is to GM this ratio is 2 is to 1 right AG is to GM is 2 is to 1 and uh, as you can see that GH is parallel to MF since GH is parallel to MF so we can also claim that AH is to HF this is also going to be 2 is to 1 okay GH is parallel to MF so AG is to GM will be AH is to HF now the length HF is nothing but 5 unit so since HF is 5 unit so we can easily claim that AH is going to be 2 times HF that is AH is going to be 10. Now as I got the length AH to be 10 the coordinate of A can easily be written as 11 comma 10 because the length AH is 10. Now after getting the coordinate of A now the coordinate geometry part will come into picture like we can see from the figure that CH is an altitude of the triangle so CH must be perpendicular to AB so definitely slope of CH into slope of AB the product of the slope is definitely going to be minus 1 so slope of CH is equal to we know the formula of slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so let us use that formula for calculating the slope of CH and similarly slope of AB is going to be 10 minus minus 5 divided by 11 minus x equal to minus 1. So this calculation is giving us uh, 75. This is going to be minus of minus x. So 75 uh, divided by Just a moment uh, this is going to be x this one the other one is going to be the slope of ch the slope of ch is going to be 0 minus minus 5 divided by 11 minus 6 that's okay and the slope of ab is going to be 10 minus minus 5 divided by 11 minus minus 6 right so it's going to be 75 divided by 121 minus x square this is equal to minus 1 so x square minus 121 equal to 75 so this implies x square is equal to 196 
so naturally x is going to be 14 so once we get the length of x to be 14 so now we can claim that this much length is 14 and similarly this much length is also going to be 14 because m is the midpoint so from here we can see that bc is going to be 28 so length of bc is 28